Hello everyone, welcome to study with Sanjida. Today we are going to solve Maths B paper 2 of IGCSC 15th January 2019. Uh, this paper is for, uh, following the latest specification 91. So let us begin. So here is our question number one. Question number one, uh, in question number one, we can see actually, there is a 12-sided regular polygon. We must make sure it's regular polygon. Vertices B and E of the polygon are joined with a straight line. As we can see, yeah, it is simply joined with a straight line. Calculate the size in degree of A, B, and E. So, what we have to do is we have to calculate the interior angle uh, A, B, E. Okay, so let us do it. We all know that in case of a regular polygon, we can find out the exterior angle by dividing number of sides with, by dividing 360 with the number of sides. So um, we can do it like this. exterior angle equals to 360 divided by number of sides. So here the number of side is 12. We are most probably going to get uh, 360 divided by 12 that is so uh, by dividing 360 with 12, we are going to get 30 degrees. So we can say the exterior angle of our regular 12-sided polygon is 30 degrees. So uh, what I mean by is it, let me just draw it out. If we extend those lines, so it's a curve. So we are just extending the line. Okay. So we just extend the lines and we just find out that our exterior angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. As we all know that if uh, the exterior angle is 30 degrees, then a straight line makes up to 180 degree. So the interior angle, if this one is 30 degrees, the interior angle is going to be 180 minus 30, that is 150. We are going to get our B, C, and um, D angle. Or uh, we can do it, okay, let us do it on this, no, better let us follow the other option, that is, this one is 30 degree. And our interior angle, that means B, C, and D is 150 degrees. Okay. So how we get 150 degree? Interior angle 150 degree B interior angle. Interior angle. We are going to get it by subtracting 30 degree from 180 degree. That is 150 degree. Okay. So, as this is a regular sided polygon, all the interior angles are going to be same. All the interior angles are going to be same. Well, then, um, if this one is 150 degree, then, uh, as I said earlier, all the angles are going to be same. This angle, CD, is also going to be 150 degree. Okay, so... Uh,
a quadrilateral okay let us not let us avoid about the quadrilateral let us uh, grab the concept of alternate angle as this one is 30 degree comparatively our this angle is also going to be 30 degree this angle is 30 degree and as we just um, know that all of our angles in a regular polygon all of our interior angles in a regular polygon are equal so as as b uh, yes c b and e c b and e makes up to 30 degree is 30 degree due to the 30 degree let us write a reason it is due to due to alternate angle of uh, b c and d alternate alternate angle of b c and d so our uh, angle a b and e is going to be One eighty minus thirty. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is going to be one fifty minus thirty. That is uh, most probably one fifty minus thirteen is one twenty degree. The reason behind this is uh, all the angles in a regular polygon are equal. So this is all about question number one. Our answer is. The angle AB is 120 degree, and um, we just uh, write our reasons just uh, beside our workings. Reason number one is we get 30 here. CB is a CBE is 30 degree just because it is the alternate angle of BCD, and uh, we might we subtract 30 degree from 150 to get 120, which is ABE, just because all the angles in a regular polygon are equal and. We just get earlier that our interior angle is 180 minus 30 that is 150 so this is the end of question number one now we are going to solve question number two uh, here we get a simultaneous equations okay we are getting two simultaneous equations we have to find the values of x and y okay um, it's pretty easy all we have to do is just um, make x as a subject or y as a subject so i'm selecting equation two let us write this one is equation one and this one is equation two okay so i'm working with equation two at first and i'm making x as the subject of equation two x equals x plus six y equals to 50. So uh, if we make x as the subject, we are going to get x equals to 15 minus 6y. Now what we are going to do is we are just going to place the value of x from equation 2 into equation 1. That is all. So we are going to get uh, the value of y. Placing the value of x Placing the value of x In equation 2 Okay, so uh, 3x that is 15 minus 6y minus 2y is equals to 7. Okay, so we are just going to multiply 3 with 15 minus 6y. So 15 into 3 is 745. We get 45 here, and we are just putting the minus sign as uh, it is a minus before 6. And uh, we are going to multiply 3 with 
six y and six into three is eighteen. So eighteen y uh, minus two y and is, is equal to seven. So we are keeping all the y's in one side and all the numbers in other side. So if we keep all the y's in one side, it's gonna be minus. Uh, we are going to type minus eighteen minus two in our calculator, and the results we are going to get is minus twenty. So we are, what we did is just calculate it directly on the calculator. Okay. So we are going to paste the calculated value that is minus twenty. I'm sorry. Let me change the marker. Minus twenty y. Again, interesting. Okay. So it is going to be minus 20 y on one side and on other side we have 7 and we are just going to change the side of 45 on the other side. So if number 45 is changing its side, it is going to change its sign as well. If anything changes side, it is going to change its sign at the same time. So 7 minus 45 that is. Seven minus forty-five is going to be minus thirty-eight. So minus twenty y equals to minus thirty-eight. So uh, we are keeping only y here and uh, taking as yes, twenty twenty is in multiple with y. So if it changes its size, it's going to be divided. So we are going to keep 38 as it is and we are just going to divide minus 20. So what we are going to get is y equals to 38 divide 20 that is um, 1.9. Okay. So uh, we are almost done with the value of y but we, we didn't find out the value of x yet. So what we are going to do is we are just going to I'm showing it here. Okay, uh, we just make an equation at the starting that is x equals to minus uh, sorry 15 minus 6y. So we are going to do we are going to place the value of y in this equation that is x equals to 15 minus 6 into 1.9 so we have the value of x as well 15 minus 6 into 1.9 that is 3.6 x is equal to 3.6 okay so this is all for today's video today's video and um if if you need, if you guys need more solvings or further questions, then you may mail me or you may uh, comment down below. I gonna, I'm promising, I'm promising with you all to reply you as soon as possible and to make a video of, of uh, depending on your comment. So that is all. See the next video. Stay tuned and take care. Bye bye.